That's a threat. That's vi potential violence. Go fuck yourself. You don't know me. You don't know a fucking thing about me. You know nothing about my fucking lifestyle. And you don't know anything about me as a human being. Fuck face. That's the bottom line. Okay? And people want to talk shit that they know nothing about. You want to say, I'm talking shit, but I do know what I'm talking about. Fucking trash apes out there. Because that's what you are. The vast majority of this movement are nothing but garbage monkeys. You are trash apes. And your minds are fucked up. And your psychologies are fucked up. And your souls are fucking fucked up. And you don't know how to do the work to make those things fucking right. And to make them healed. And you're not trying to do those things. You're staying in your fucked up condition. And you're thinking that you're fine when you're completely fucked up. And this is what I've been trying to tell you here. All what is happening, and it's why you're never going to achieve true freedom. It's why you're dooming the earth to slavery. Justin Padini, you know this is all about you, right? Have you figured that out yet? Get your ass up here. You fucking pussy. That's what I've been saying, man. That's what we've when all I, I... been saying for years about these guys. I guess they and think we're, we're one chicken sandwich away from a free world. Like I've been like we've we've been pressing on the uh, what on earth is or the uh, one world network guys. And we've been critical of Mark because he hasn't done enough activism um, for the animals as far as like in his main stuff. And it's it's just like this has been what I've been waiting for from this guy for a long time to finally you know, lay it all out. And you can't say that he's not talking about every single person on his network as well. This dude seems fed up with everyone around him. I don't know his story very well, but I'd imagine he had good people around him once and probably doesn't anymore. And he's just sick of it. But anyway, we'll get back to it. What's up, Jerem? How you been, buddy? <laughs> We're chilling, dude. Big chillin'. Big chillin', yep. Because you don't have your minds right, and you don't have your souls right. Your minds are all fucked up. You don't know how to do basic arithmetic. You don't know how to take in information. You don't know how to sift through it. You don't know how to come to logical and reasonable conclusions about it. You jump to fucking completely unwieldy and un unnecessary and stupid conclusions. You don't know how to apply the trivium. You don't know how to do the very basics of mathematics and geometry and physics, etc. You're just dumb shit apes. And you think you're okay staying like that when you're not okay. You're fucked up. Shit ape. Who do we know that's a shit ape? <laughs> like, I know who's popping up in everyone's head right now. And he's in the chat right now, hiding. <laughs> Get up here, Justin Bedini. Justin Bedini was trying to say this video was about us. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> he told me that He's all, can't you see? He's calling you out because you only talk about diet. Because we're only talking about diet. Get in here, Justin. See, and before he would talk about people that are not putting out any content to push the needle forward to get the no. truth out there. What are you talking about? Justin Padini has been telling everyone about P. Diddy for years. Well, I don't think that's what he's referring to as far as important material that needs to be broadcast. <laughs> no. Uh, as I have, get up here, dude. Why waiting for the Godzilla hiding? podcast. He's will, waiting for Godzilla. I'm waiting for the Godzilla podcast. I mean, you could do something with that, I guess. The link is in the fucking chat, you dill hole. This guy, man. <laughs> you know, the one relevant part of Godzilla for me is the fact that the new series acknowledges uh, the Hollow Earth. Mm. The Hollow Earth plays a, a critical oh, role in the entire series. Oh now. my god. Hold on. I have to freaking wipe Justin's ass and give him his the link in his freaking Facebook because he doesn't know how to click the link in the chat. Special Jesus. delivery. Yeah. 
And this guy is the head of the One One Great Work Network. Second second smartest person in the world next to Larkin Rose, right? Holy shit. This video is also about Larkin Rose, very much so. It's also about uh, Logan Hart. It's about uh, all these fakers. About the fakers. And, and if you aren't vegan, then you're a faker. If you haven't figured this shit out yet, at this point, you're completely faking or you're just unlearning a, a person who can't learn, which is which Justin Padini is definitely a person who can't learn. Yeah, I sent it to your Facebook, dude. The roast of Justin Padini. Where is the. Uh, and you have the Dunning Kruger effect running rampant throughout your entire psychology. And you jump to conclusions that are wrong because you don't have enough knowledge and you think you do. You believe that you're intelligent creatures when you're some of the dumbest that have ever existed. And I'm not even talking about folks. I'll I'll wait till this guy gets up here. (laughs) Uh, Justin, hurry up. Can I just say a little thing about Dunning-Ruger effect here? Since I have said anything. Can you guys hear me? I have missed you for missed your sayings. This is is really fucking annoying. It comes up quite a lot. I don't think that Dunning, the Dunning crew effect should be understood as, as a moral feeling. Um, I think it's just, it's a very, very logical, you know, understandable effect of, of the kind of statistical exposure that people get at different levels of expertise. Um, when you know a little bit about something, um, <clears throat> you're constantly dealing with people who know nothing about it. Um, it is going to make you, uh, it is going to be confidence oh, because of the statistical exposure you're getting where you, you, every time you do the thing, you do it better than, than others. Um, you, you, you can't understand what the very, very high level people are, are, are thinking and talking about. And so that doesn't become evidence for you because you process it. And then when you start to get to the moderate levels of, of expertise, you now have the ability to understand what the truly top experts are are, are talking about. So that enters in as evidence for you now because you have, you have the capacity to make it evidence. So I it's, I would say Dunning-Kruger is just, um, just what naturally happens when when different levels introduced into your um, in into your calculation and not, not the moral failing fucking asshole who you know <laughs> who would who ever drew ego or would ever just just think they're they're they have greater expertise than they do i, I it doesn't i mean they, they might it might be tied in those kind of factors personality factors moral factors might be tied in to um to to the effects of Dunning Kruger, but Dunning Kruger itself is just a it's just a, just a statistical phenomenon. The relationship yeah, between what, expertise and uh, and what ends up counting as evidence. I hope that made sense. Okay, I want Jeremy. You. You're in Korea, the, pl- the place with the best internet in the world, and your audio is still messed up. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, well, shit, it's, it's not my. Right. It's not my Just, connection. It's my old Jana. phone. I want Jana. Well, it's about the time. It's about time for a new phone. Talking to me, Justin Padini. Yeah, Justin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This video is about you. You realize this, right? What video is, Mark? This video we're watching is about you. Is it? I mean, he messaged me a few days before. I can show you if you want. Um, I don't maybe, can, yo, can I debate Jana? Jana? Can I debate Jana? I'm naked, by the way. Can I debate Jana? Come up, Jana. What up, Jana? Come on. Want a shot at the title? I most certainly have it. Please bring it. You won't. Oh, by the way, Jeff, Jeff, to be clear, I never said that I was, uh, I'm sorry, um, one of, uh, I'm sorry, the third smartest person on the planet. I meant I'm in the top three. I, I didn't mean, you know, uh, just to be <laughs> Yeah, I just I wouldn't want right. to downplay myself for anything, you know. <laughs> Come on, Jane, you want a shot at the title? You want? I'll, tell, I'll, debate, I'll debate all you guys stay on, right now. Stay on, stay on, stay focused, Justin. 
this video we're watching is about you and your friends. Okay. You can, you have nothing to nothing to say to that. To say to what? To this he's, video. He's, he's, he said you watched it, attacking, right? Mark specifically attacking the people that are attacking him for his diet. I'm not I've never been attacking the vegan diet. I'm attacking people lying to promote the vegan <laughs> diet. It's not the same thing. No, it isn't. Lies. You are, I, I, you are the quintessential anti-vegan douchebag. What's that? <laughs> Hold on, let me put this blunt down. You're the quintessential anti-vegan douchebag that Mark Passio was talking about in this video. But I'm not anti-vegan. I'm anti-dishonesty. You, you are the, the, the trash monkey he is talking about. Okay. <laughs> How do you how do you defend yourself from that? Was it was that? How do you defend yourself from that? That I'm a trash monkey. You said, a trash you said the other day this this was about me and my friends because we only talk about diet. Where do you get that from this this video? I, I didn't say that this video was about you and your friends. I, I said that what's it called? Mark himself says if you talk to him, he's not a militant vegan. He just thinks that veganism is a better way to be. I mean, again, what I'll hung out. that have to do with anything that we're talking about, Justin? Well, I mean, he, he says in this video, I watched some of it. I didn't finish it yet, so I didn't share it. But uh, he, uh, what's it called? He said that, um, uh, I'm sorry. He said he's, yeah, he's not a militant vegan and that he's not, uh, he, people eat meat in front of him all the time. Like he says it in the video. What does that have to do with anything? You just kept asking what this has to do with this video, so I mentioned what is this it? video. What is, that mean? what is the definition of a militant vegan? What is you that even? That you guys, you guys. I mean, you you're either in alignment with natural law principles or you're not, bro. Was that like what is it? Militant vegan? Okay, Jonathan Goldberg is the ultimate militant vegan. He actually is not capable of. The Why can't you talk about anyone that's in the room, Justin? Was that? What's Why can't you talk about anyone that's in the room? You always got to talk about other people. You're just like Garland. Go Fox. Bring, bring, go fetch me, go fetch me, Jada. Go fetch me, Jada. I want Jada. Here. I want Jada. Right. Come on, Jada. Where you at? Want to show the title? I'm gonna fucking cook you, lady. Hold on. Uh huh. And you're fucked up condition, and you're thinking that you're fine when you're completely fucked up. And this is what I've been trying to Put tell you here. Back back up, here is happening, and it's why you're never going to achieve true freedom. Right, it's why you're dooming the earth to slavery. Because you don't have your minds right, and you don't have your souls right. Your minds are all fucked up. You don't know how to do basic arithmetic. You don't know how to take in information. You don't know how to sift through it. You don't know how to come to logical and reasonable conclusions about it. You jump to fucking completely unwieldy and un unnecessary and stupid conclusions. You don't know how to apply the trivium. You don't know how to do the very basics of mathematics and geometry and physics, etc. You're just dumb shit apes. And you think you're okay staying like that when you're not okay. You're fucked up. And you have the Dunning-Kruger effect running rampant throughout your entire psychology. And you jump to conclusions that are wrong because you don't have enough knowledge. And you think you do. You believe that you're intelligent creatures when you're some of the dumbest that have ever existed. And I'm not even talking about folks. I'm not talking about the average moron, the average idiot, the average know-nothing person. I'm not talking about the normies. I'm talking about the people in the freedom movement. You're fucked up. Forget yep. the fucking normies. Forget the average fucking dolt on the street. You're so fucked up, you'll never achieve freedom. Yeah, well, you, I, you know there's a problem, at least, when it comes to human freedom. And you're, you brought all your garbage baggage into this so-called movement, trying to implement a so-called solution with you. You didn't leave that at the door. You didn't work through it by doing any shadow work. You did nothing. You brought all your garbage into the movement with you, and you just threw it all around the fucking room indiscriminately. That's all you guys know how to do because you're fucked up. And I've been trying to tell this to people, and because I'm trying to be honest with people and tell them where they're at in consciousness, the messenger gets attacked when I'm right. I'm correct. You're wrong. You're yeah. wrong about yeah. how you're okay. Even enough to yeah. speak on any of this stuff. You're yeah, fucked you up. A boner. Yeah. And you need to Woo. acknowledge how fucked up Woo. your psychology is and how fucked up your spirituality is. You're fucked up. And nobody will tell you right to your face except Mark Passio. Just about. Mark Jeffrey Phillips. You guys got a boner yet? You got a boner? That harden your meat. Everybody huh? wants to huh? sweet talk you because they want something out of you, like fucking money or fucking attention or whatever. 
Yeah. I don't give a shit if you never listen to me again. Like I said, I'll burn this whole fucking operation to the ground. It doesn't mean a thing to me. Yeah. The truth is all that matters to me, and I'm going to speak it. I'm going to continue to speak it. And even if that means I have to transition away from doing the kind of work that I'm doing and do something slightly different, I, that's what I'll do. I'm going to, because of everything that has happened this year, I'm, and I said at the beginning of this new format of the show back in 2019 when I started doing a video podcast instead of you know, straight audio podcast, that maybe this was going to run about five years, and that's about what it, what it did. And I don't know if what on earth is happening is going to continue in this form. Now, I have to do some long, hard thinking about whether there's going to be another season in 2025. I, I honestly do not know. I, I think I'll try to figure that out and let everybody know by the last episode this season whether I'm going to bother to come back next year. Because the, the, it, it isn't that the truth isn't worth speaking. It's not really worth putting it out there for human beings. Like, yeah, I, I, I get it. I get yeah. it. Imagine yeah. being surrounded by the people he's surrounded by now and that being like the best that he could come up with. And right. imagine being so unmotivated by the people around you that you don't even know if you want to do a simple podcast once a week anymore. Like, you know, he lives in another state, I'm not, right? I'm not, I'm not like next door. What? Where's Jana? If she's got the truth on her side, what's she worried about? You know, I got nothing to hide. Where's Jane? Being at this point in human history and how oh, bad yeah, things yeah, have become yeah, yeah. and how go. ignorant the Another population, even within the freedom movement, is. You guys are trash. You yeah. are trash. Almost all of you. Almost everyone. It's, it, it's, it's not a matter of who is a piece of fucking trash in this movement. It's like, who isn't? And it's like a, 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 a handful, a tiny handful of people are garbage. And are really doing something to truly try to change the world for the better. It's it's a tiny piss ant handful. Justin, do you think you're in that percentile he's talking about? I think I'm number one in that percentile. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what, do, do you do you think you're in there? Where's Jana? With can, can I talk to Jana, please? Jana ESP. Yeah, get her in here. Yo, what's up, Jana? Come, come have a conversation with me about whatever you want. It doesn't have to be veganism. Again, I'm not against veganism. I'm against lying. You are. You say that over mm. and over again, and you're just repeating your little Larkin Rose buddies fucking lines. <laughs> okay. Because you have nothing original to bring to the plate. People, you didn't you accept your three little things that you heard about plant sent and sentience and blah, 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 blah. We've heard it all a thousand times before. We don't need to hear okay. it again, Justin. Okay. Just take your breath. Okay, yo, bro, just consider this. Uh, you you guys love being like you like Larkin told you this or like Mark told you that. As if I'm not my own so, individual mother. As an example you- of the kind of people that I deal with all day, yeah, almost hey, every day. And yeah. what w- what I am gonna tell you that I really am is I'm I'm not a targeted individual, I'm a harassed individual. I am harassed almost continuously because I speak the truth. I'm harassed almost all day, every day by two people. Two people groups of people One are might be my destined. harassers and tormentors and people say oh just ignore people like that just don't let them get to you, you you're obviously not a fucking public person because you don't understand that it's omnipresent and it follows you everywhere like a stalker i have stalkers I have harassers and stalkers. They're all digital because not a one would dare come up to my face because they know what would fucking happen. To them. And believe me, I won't show you that I'm just a better fighter than you. I won't show them. There won't be a contest. It- It'll be a vicious, vicious, vicious beating. It will be a vicious attack. It will not be. It will not be. I'm gonna prove to you that I'm somehow better than you in some contest of 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 uh, MMA or boxing or whatever. You'll just get. How are you sitting there? Like, oh And you want people want to say that's a violation of natural law? Wrong. It's self defense, motherfucker. Because I'm stalked and harassed, and I've made it clear to people I don't want your opinion. I don't want your harassment. I don't want your fucking religion. I'm not in your fucking cult. Fuck face. I'm not in your cult. Hey, Justin. There's a echo. We're not in your fucking cult, fuck face. Where's China? Where's China? Where's Virginia? You're in a fucking cult. I'm not in your cult. Get that straight, moron. And when somebody who says to a cult member, I'm not in your cult, leave me the fuck alone. And you don't want to leave them alone, you're going to find out that you fuck with the real one, boy. And you, you're lucky you're not in my physical presence. You're lucky. Because you wouldn't breathe another 30 seconds. 
And you want to think I'm playing games? Come and find out how fuck. Look in my eyes and see how ready to die I am. Look in these eyes, boy. And you'll find out if you're ever in my fucking presence what will happen to you. Badass. I'm not going to be harassed. You're not. I'm not taking that as a fucking man. You find the fuck out what will happen to your head. You think you're still gonna, if you're in my presence and yeah, you want to come and fuck around, find out, motherfucker. That's Mark, I'm talking to the whole show of me be me screaming that. You think this is some game or joke, and you'll find out how deadly it is, motherfucker. Justin, you think you're friends with Mark because you give him money. Okay. You're a pissant little, all of you are pissant little fucking cowardly shits. Because you wouldn't dare do it to my face because you get fucking murdered. Woo! That's what happened to you, motherfucker. So Jeff, you never. You want to fuck around with somebody? This video's you're not fucking with Mark. the wrong one, boy. <laughs> Jeff, you Thanks, ever Mark. You ever a call? You'll find the fuck out. The first motherfucker who comes up to me in person trying shit like that will find the fuck out how much I'm fucking around. You'll find the fuck out, boy. You guys are just loving this shit, huh? Just jacking all the You yeah. think you're playing with some little fucking piss hand fucking boy? You're playing with a very fucking dangerous motherfucker. That ain't afraid. I ain't afraid of dying. I sure as fuck ain't afraid of the police. Dana, I'll debate you on whatever you'd like. Think I'm fucking afraid. I ain't afraid of you, you little shits. And I'm not afraid of the fucking pigs. And I ain't afraid of the grave. And you'll find the fuck out. See how much I'm playing. I'm saying this right on the fucking air. See what I'll do to you in person. I'm saying this to 10,000 of fucking people live on the air. People are going to find out. You pushed the wrong one, motherfucker. You pushed the wrong one. So we'll explain what people are doing and who I'm harassed by. And before I go into other announcements, then I'll get back into the material. And if it takes the whole fucking season to go through it, that's what it takes. Quite frankly, I really don't even want to do call-in shows. I don't care. I don't care about what anybody has to say at this point, quite frankly. Because it's just all a one big continuing brutal disappointment for me. Because I've been doing this for 17 years with zero effect, without anybody who's a major influencer doing any part of exposure of all the things that I've talked about. No, you want to go along with things, the sewage of politics all and money. That's about. all anybody Not wants to do. Diet, That's all anybody's interested in doing is gargling with fucking poison. You ain't talking about anything about morality. You're not talking about anything regarding psychology. You're not talking about anything regarding the occult. You're not talking anything regarding real philosophy. Yeah, Justin. And people Woo. want to say, no, you're not talking about that stuff in the later episodes, Mark. No shit, you don't fucking deserve it because you haven't been fucking listening. And yeah, all you're doing is you're clinging on to your dumb fucking cults. Your cults yep. of free earth and your cults of carnism. That's it. Cults There's of two carnism. Fucking in the fucking freedom movement. Ooh, the flat yeah, earth yeah, movement yeah, and the fucking yeah, meteors. Yeah. That's all it is. Cult of carnism. Okay. You are in the cult of carnism, bro. He is talking about Would you be in the cult you. of veganism then? Oh, so yours is in a cult. Why isn't yours a cult? At least it's not a cult. Because that's an in a natural, natural law principle, principle, bro. That's why you haven't been paying attention. Who's who's that? Yeah. Who's that? Because veganism is in alignment with natural law principles. That's why it's not a fucking course, cult. But according to who? Because many that's... natural law teachers, such as Manly P. Hull. According to natural law, law Dill Hull. Yeah, well, according to natural law. I don't law, care if those teachers can get their was. shit together. He wasn't vegan. Now what? Right. Don't have much to say to that, huh? This whole movement is. And all you want to do is attack people that aren't in your fucking bullshit CIA. Authority. Authority. Jane, authority. Jane, all fucking exactly authority. what you do, Chapman. What's that? Exactly what you do. What? What? You attack people not in your cult. You're a cult I'm, member. You're I'm blood and death cult member. Eating. I'm not trying to defend you. You think you're this occult guy, uh -huh. but your ego uh -huh. is so out of control. Because you have none of your shit together. You have no <laughs> shit. Blame me for having your shit so I'm like Earth Justin, did you, you see the live you video that I posted a couple days ago? Huh? You think you have something to teach us. And to people who know what's going on, when you come at them that way, uh -huh. uh, it's it's repulsive, dude. It's like nauseating. You, what? When you know someone doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about and they're pushing their shit on you like they do. You mean like veganism? Like veganism? We're not in your fucking Dude, industry. Justin, you're not in your cult, and we're not in did your you CIA did you watch the live? Did anybody watch the live video I posted a couple days ago? 
any of you guys want to debate me, I'm right here. I'll, tell, I'll debate you all at once if you want. And again, I'm not even trying to stop the vegan guy. You want to talk shit on people who have transcended your fucking dumb cults. You're in a fucking cult. And guess what? With the one, I don't even care. People eat meat in my presence all the time. I don't harass them. I'm not a militant vegan. I'm not a militant plant-based eater. I do what I do for my moral reasons. I don't jump down people's throats regarding that. Why are people bringing their bullshit carnist religion to me? Keep your fucking opinions to yourself. Oh, I don't well, want so to you up about you this. Is. You're wrong. It is all about morality. Do you own the body of another being? If you don't, then you shouldn't be fucking destroying it because it's not your property. If you say that you do, you're fucking wrong. See, and that's fucking... where I think I think Mark is wrong. Is he's not invoking the self-defense principle. Via with religion. I if we can't come to the defense of animals, religion. then we're not are we not in alignment with natural law. Fuck away from me with them, or you're going to get hurt. The same goes for the flat Earth community, and I'm telling you, you you better Whoa. think very fucking seriously about your life. Oh. Because there are people out there that will just let you harass them. And I'm telling you, you better worry about going in the ground, motherfucker. <laughs> and I'll put you there. I'll put you there. And you think I won't? This guy's and fucking great. how much I'm fucking around. Yo, let me get I'll put you I understand now why you guys like this guy. Leave me alone. Oh, no, Mark's the man. I Don't love harass me. Stay the fuck away from me. Person, bro. You know, Mark did. This I'll put good. you in the ground. You know? He's like telling how that to you, dude. Was that telling that to you? What, I do? What, what do you think I should do about What it? people have been doing is harassing me online because they're pussy bitch cowards that would never fucking approach me in person because you're a little pussy. And they say, Mark, you're off the air and you're sick because of your vegan diet, because you eat plants only, and because you need meat in your diet. You're a moron. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I told you, I'll show you how strong I am. I'll break your fucking, all your fucking teeth out. I'll break your fucking jaw and it'll swing like on a hinge. <laughs> and you'll find out how fucking strong I am. <laughs> you fucking trash shit. You piece of trash. You'll Stop find it. the fuck out how fucking strong I am when I knock your fucking jaw the fuck loose. Is, is someone is someone going to debate me or, or no? Just... It wasn't because I was physically ill. I was psychologically distraught because my fucking father was dying. You fucking losers! But that's just the kind of people you are. You're people whose skank fucking mother shat them out of her cunt, never taught them a fucking thing, and you're a dumb bitch. <laughs> You're a dumb fucking skank bitch. Yo, you don't even you? have enough data to know what's going on, and you want to talk out your fucking trash, trash spewing fuckhole of a mouth. <laughs> Yo, Yo, Devin, you want a shot at the title? Because you're fucking scumbag losers who are as dumb as. 10 pounds of liquid dog shit in a white gym sock on a hot summer day. That's pretty fucking dumb, and that's pretty funny, too. Yeah, you're as dumb as 10 pounds of liquid dog shit in a white gym sock on a hot summer day. Carry it down the street. That's pretty fucking dumb, and you know what? It's it's a contest between what's dumber, you or that. And I 100 pounds of dog shit in fucking... No, 300 pounds of dog shit in sweats wearing flip-flops in new york <laughs> oh that's me huh oh no what did i just do i just fucked it up fiction comedy from just the encouragement that is somebody gonna have debate me or am i just here to flirt with no one wants to debate you justin why would anyone waste their time with that yeah i had a feeling no one wanted to debate me Especially Jaina, who knows the truth definitively, but can't seem to manage to discuss it with me on camera, you know? Did you guys see where the timestamp was at? How many minutes in no. was that? It must have been... Oh, man, half hour. That sucked. Yo, Devin, God you... damn it. I like Devin, but you want, you want to debate me? Or, like, like footsteps. And it's... it's all, they're doing... You, you said you're going to go in on Larkin and Logan, too? I think we got the point. You're going in on Larkin and Logan, too? Yeah. You know, right. you know your buddy Logan is a, is a pedophile defender, right? 
Uh, I don't know if he was necessarily defending the pedophile, but I do think he handled it. Oh, no, I was bit. there. Logan actually blocked me because I was calling him out for it. He absolutely, we all saw what happened. Clear as fucking day. And your boy was defending him to the death. Was he? What, you know? what did he say to defend him? I was pretty sure he, the guy was just trying to talk to him, and Logan just didn't handle it the best. I don't think he was defending. Hey, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Obviously, Maybe. like usual, it's no possible. idea what you're talking about. Yeah, it's possible. Where's Where's uh, Hutchins? Um, <laughs> yeah, I want to hear more yeah. from Daryl. Daryl's Dar been Darryl. swinging, swinging the bat lately. Yeah. I want to see Daryl versus Benini in a debate. We already laying laying the hammer down. We already got that debate, bro. It's on YouTube. It's like four years old. Where I was, uh, yeah, like 2019. Uh, yeah, I watched that. That was the first video you sent me to watch, and it was terrible. And you had no idea what you're talking about, and you had no idea how to debate. And, you know, on you know, slave. It's all stuff we already know. It's all yeah. stuff we know already. Let me, let me. You got pull on slave. You can get him up here. Why are you talking with that accent all of a sudden? I'm chewing. Chewing here. Nice plant-based dinner, you know. Where's Where's DM? Well, so so okay. So what about Larkin? But why is he soccer? Whatever. What? Larkin's a clown because he's a faker in every way. In, every in way. his oh, life, well, how okay. he lives, and all, all these things. He doesn't actually represent anything that he talks about, and he's a hothead, which is, you know, just a whole different thing. Um, hot-headed people aren't the greatest people to hang out with. I, I guarantee he talks insane amounts of shit about you behind your back. He only talks to you because you give him money, just like, uh, just like any of these guys you give money to. Mm -hmm. We've all we've been over this over and over and over. Yeah, These you aren't your friends. Justin. I feel like you're trying to like dig at like me. You shit on your like real friends. Causes that or I support. Your like, Jeff, friends that you pay for. Yeah, if you never that, supported that you the know cause, damn well wouldn't talk to you. If you never supported you didn't the pay them. Why do you think they wouldn't talk to me? Look at what I do. Uh, could it be that like have you, you ever did, nothing. Did, did, donated to you the make a fool of yourself on the internet? Was that? Was that? I said you don't do anything. Well, I've been I've been slacking off lately because I've been injured, so I'm waiting to make. No, my you've been injured as long as I've known you, Justin. That's totally how are you so up, so much healthier than me? If you've been you've been injured as long as I've known you. No, I'm not as long as you've known me. I, what are you talking about? As long as you've known me, you've been injured. I tore my forearm. I didn't Look. know steroided out Justin Pedini. Sorry, I've never done steroids. That's why I'm still pretty. Yeah, you're I'm you're natty, right? I look like I'm thirty. So. <laughs> Keep telling look, yourself that. Look. Hey, look under the light, so fresh, so clean. Hey, look, I like that, right? Oh, this video is about you, look. Justin. This video is about you, Justin. According to you, you don't have anything. Just oh, he's my friend. That's all you have to say. He's my friend. What do you Listen want to, to the words he was saying? He's Step not, out of yourself. Listen not, to the words he's saying. Yeah. And give a response yeah. to that. Oh, which words? Which words? What? Which words? He said a lot of words. Yes, but there's a general statement going on that's very clear to all of us. And what about, we're, you know, what about his 15 father? minutes into this video. What about his father dying? His diet? Or about how we continue to stay dumb. Don't deserve niceness, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> like you continue to stay dumb, Justin. I've asked you several times to, to to teach us about something you've learned in the last year or two, and you just giggle. And you know, like the things I've seen people say things to you at least a hundred okay. times, I'm and then I quiz them on, on it. Years later, and you still don't know what a straw man is, even though everybody's been explaining to you how you're the king of straw men, and you somehow still don't know what a straw man is. Well, you're you know, and it's just like, dude, stop <laughs> acting like you know everything. Try to learn something new. Try to open your mind. You don't know everything. 
just because you paid Justin Bedini. I mean, just because you paid Larkin Rose to hang out with you. Like, this isn't this isn't real, dude. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. What's your point? What okay, do you want? is your response you to that? If, if you came to me and said something like that, I've ha I'd have a lot to say back to you. Well, I I'm not really sure what, like, are you asking me a question or, you know, what, what are you saying exactly? Justin, you shit on your real friends for your fake friends all the time. What real friends? What fake friends? What do you mean? Oh, my God. What do you mean? What do you mean? I just, I got to wipe your ass for you. You're like, so you should, please. Jeff, are you my real like, friend? Jeff, are you my real yes. friend? I've been here for years trying to talk sense into you. Yes, I'm your real friend. Far okay. more than any of these fuckheads that you give money and money to to hang out with. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. I'm, try, I'm trying oh, okay. to teach you how to be a man, Justin. That, I appreciate that, Jeff. Jeff, just curious. Have you ever donated to a cause ever? Like you never gave money to any vegan or anything? I don't have a family that in, I inherited a bunch of money from that I get money from every month that I can give to everybody that I freaking... I know, I know. That, that, that damn inheritance. I actually have I to know. work and do things and like, you know, pull strings in the real world. I don't just get a check every month because you you own some some property in New York. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I, I, you're right. I'm just all, I'm just all in you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, hmm? so, hmm? so, so, can I talk to Devin or one of these people on the panel? I have some questions. Wouldn't you have more to respond to me with? Well, no, like, okay, you, you want to learn something, right? You said you were saying that I don't have much to teach. Well, being the Diddy issue is the biggest issue at end right now. I can tell you more about that. It's not the biggest issue. It's the only, it's the biggest issue with morons, dude. No, it's not. Why do you think? No one cares that Diddy's gay. It's not about it being. No gay. one cares. No, no one cares. We've always known the gays run Hollywood. It's you not know, new. I'm care. from Hollywood. I knew all these guys gay. were gay way back in the day. Who I don't cares? Care. Hey, do you know who Diddy? Who, That's who, all you talk about, and you keep telling me that we're gonna get famous because you've exposed P Diddy, and I'm like, what are you? What, like Justin? What planet are you on, dude? That's like, why. come back to reality. No, come back why would I want to come back to reality? You're <laughs> taking the comedian thing way too far, Justin. Yeah, no, first and first, you're taking it too far. Taking what too far? Just wait till you see what I do. I'm about to fucking light up Hollywood, homie. For real. I'm gonna go. I'm you have to be a genuine person every once in a while. You can't just be this fictitious comedian all the time. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because you know I'm not genuine or anything. You know. No. So. Okay. So do you want to more? So, why don't you? So you are. What's your opinion on Clive Davis? What? Clive Davis, he's not vegan. That's what he's working for. Him. I don't. You know, you know Clive, why, why would, so you throw Davis. some name at me and I'm supposed to know something? Yeah. You don't know who Clive Davis is? No. I don't know who Clive Davis is. I, I don't worship the same clowns you worship. Because I don't worship any clowns. We're only worshiping plant based people, right? <laughs> what? Why don't you pray to Godzilla? Yeah, we're the only we, we're the only ones that know what's going on, of course. Why would that? Why would we support that? anyone but the people that actually know what's going on? That sounds kind of cool, you know. What, what's going on? What, what's going on? What, what am I missing? What am I missing? Uh, your soul is 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 rotting, Justin. What makes you say that? You consume so many sentient beings that your 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 uh you know your. Your moral standard is very fucking low, uh -huh. yet you claim to uh -huh. be this enlightened person who has all this to teach. I claim Yet that. you haven't figured out that you don't have, uh, you know, like rights to other sentient beings' bodies. Yeah, so... And okay, you claim yeah, to be a part of this whole thing that, that's, that's all about doing less harm, yet you do no less harm whatsoever. You don't teach anybody to do less harm. You just teach people to worship uh celebrities i guess you know that's that's all i've gotten out of you for years yeah. is justin just wants everyone to focus on celebrities trees create uh, oxygen and stuff 
So oh. why do you have a tree, Jeff? Justin, we heard all this bullshit. You oh, don't even God. understand what you're saying. We've heard <laughs> it all before. You've it's you can't just default back to your dumb anti-vegan arguments. That's not how the world works. Oh, no, because you don't do the opposite with the anti-carnivore. Uh, you wouldn't do that, right? Well, well, we're right. You're wrong. So where's your evidence? Why, why, would, why would it matter? Where's your we evidence? default towards what's right. We don't default towards what's wrong and just where's deny it and then act like we're fucking like some badasses. He's like, well, oh, we know Mark Passio. We're in one one news network or whatever the fuck it's called. And like, we're we're better than everyone. When you guys are still, you still have sentient beings rotting in your stomachs. Like 10 of them at a time, dude. And you so think I, you're fucking, so you I, think you know what's going on? Give me a break. The fat, the, the, the hormones from all these these animals you eat are, are, are messing up your entire brain system. And you don't, okay. you don't know how to fucking okay. think. You so believe in freaking dinosaurs and garbage where, like that. Where, where's the evidence that I have no idea what's going on? I have no idea what's going on. Guess what, Justin? There's not evidence for everything in the world. I can't <laughs> prove to you the mermaids don't exist. Maybe now. No, I have no idea if they do. Um, so are you going on Larkin and Logan, or do you want me to default to talking about how Godzilla's vegan? Yeah, I'm Logan's like a known uh, fecal freak, which is a little weird. That was that was a big thing going around for a while. I don't know why oh. these weirdos get so much attention. Uh, Jeff, I've heard some stuff about you know? Oh, I'm sure you have. Yeah, I've, you, I, love, you I, love you love <laughs> talking to all my ex girlfriends. You fucking weirdo. No, not even. I, I'm not a dick. Bag. No, from a, quite a number of people. I just don't care. It's like whatever. Uh -huh. it's like, yeah, quite a number of people know stuff about me. That that seems interesting. Uh, they claim to. Uh, again, I don't really care. I'm not. I'm not here to like trash bad about people. I'm a nice yeah. guy. Well, I'm just wondering what these weirdos are doing, you know, claiming to be these like, uh, you know, pillars of this truth community when they seem to have plenty of fucking problems that they should be focusing instead of trying to teach other people things or especially trying to regurgitate some other guy's stuff who's also regurgitating some other guy's stuff who's also regurgitating some other guy's stuff. It's just weird. Okay. And these dudes, you see the okay. egos on them from fucking six miles away, and it's just like, oh, it's just well, like funny. my reaction to you when you started pushing your weird, sh you know, your your weird theories on me. It was like, I don't know, dude. Half the shit out of your mouth kind of seems like highly sus. You well, know, I doubt you're going to teach me anything. Well, some of the speculation, well, admittedly, like I can admit, I'm not everything I say. Yes, uh, uh, cave paintings are historical record, right? Cave I'm paintings are historical record. Yeah, Justin, you're you're yeah. a meme. What cave else? paintings is a what meme else? because of you. Hashtag cave paintings. That's a that's like there's that's, like thousands and thousands of hashtags because of you. What because the, of your terrible what's arguments. What's the historical record? Then? Dinosaurs are real because there's a lizard painted on a wall in some cave somewhere. Therefore, dinosaurs are real, according to Justin Padini. Chances are, yeah. Because the, 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 the Vatican has a telescope. Therefore, space travel is weird, according to Justin Padini. Oh, you want to get into this topic, huh? Okay. No, I don't. I'm just pointing at. I'm just marveling at all the hilarious, Yo, you, the hilarious uh, wealth of information you're you're here to give us when it's all mainstream shit. Did, did, Jeff, did you hear? Ancient what, people can't did, don't know how to carve rocks. It, it had to be aliens carving the rocks, right? We are the aliens, pal. You didn't know that? That they spliced uh -huh. up. Hey, that's why you got uh -huh. fucked, up. Uh -huh. fucked up. We're the offspring of another uh -huh. race of beings. That's what we are. We're their yeah, workers. They, uh huh. I'm just the only person with enough. The only real divide in humanity is dumb versus Mark truly so. holistically intelligent. That's because the is. dumb people will either embody this Dunning Kruger effect and or continue to be statists, people who believe in authority, and the real intelligent people will not be fucking hoodwinked by every fucking falsity that comes down the fucking pike that the CIA throws out there or fucking Tavistock throws out there for people to latch onto to make them look like idiots, which isn't hard to do. I.E. P. Diddy. The flat earth. P. Movie. Diddy. Bro, P. Diddy is the They'll most finally, you know, right now. The real intelligent will expose that and tell the dumb people how dumb they are. That's what should happen. That is what we are it doing is not here. About just be silent or be nice to all the people who buy into all the bullshit. You buy into all your religious bullshit. Your flat earthers, your carnists, your fucking status, your fucking uh, yep. people who believe everything is a fucking conspiracy. You know? Yeah. 
I mean, just I'm not, first of all, I want to separate myself. Nobody since day one of my work should ever be referring to me as a conspiracy theorist. Fuck that term. Don't apply it to me. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a fucking whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower. I was involved yeah. in real life in the world of the occult. And I'm trying to explain to people how it works to enslave them. I'm a whistleblower. I'm not theorizing about anything. I'm teaching real, genuine knowledge that is hard won from personal life experience. I'm a whistleblower, not a conspiracy theorist. Fuck your term. Shove it up your fucking ass. Don't call me that. I'm not theorizing about anything. And yes, conspiracies do exist. It's powerful people coming together to strategize. If you don't think that's happening, you're a dumb fucking ignorant child. And you want to put those terms together like I'm I'm theorizing about powerful people coming together to fucking get an agenda accomplished amongst themselves. Yeah, and that's that's theorizing. And I'm not theorizing about what I was involved in. I lived it. Don't tell me my life is a theorization. It isn't. It's direct fucking life experience from a fucking man that almost all you fucking baby five fucking children will never have one millisecond of. No, it's first of all, you're all inept fucking people with no life experience. You can't fucking lip and lick a fucking stamp right and stick it on an envelope. That's how fucking life skillless you are. You're inept, life skillless babies. Almost everybody in this movement. With very few exceptions. And then people want to get mad at me for saying it's like that because your dumb fucking skank mothers shat you out. Your dumb fucking deadbeat fucking skank fathers shat you out. And you have, they taught you nothing in life. They taught you zero in life. And we wonder, I don't know why are we enslaved. I can't figure it out. Maybe because my stank parents shot me out and never taught me a fucking thing. I don't know. Uh, let me use my slide rule and my abacus and I'll get back to you on that one. You people make me sick. You make me sick. And I really have to just leave it alone because you're just not worth it. That's all it is. It, it's just it's just like when you just realize, you know what? You're not worth another fucking millisecond of my time. And then you shut the fuck up and you're dead to me. That's where this is headed. That's where this is headed because there's been zero progress in 17 years. And you're too fucking stupid to be taught. You're too egotistical. You're too satanic. Your mindset is Satanism. You can't hear wisdom being spoken to you. You want to challenge everything as if somehow you have more experience and knowledge and skills. And you don't. You don't have more ability. You don't have more experience. You don't have more skills. You don't have more, you don't have more, knowledge. You don't have more understanding. You don't have more wisdom. You're deficient in everything. And you think you're okay because some fucking retard told you you're okay just the way you are. I gotta be that's out. that's the the encouragement that Team Humanity has gotten. Their whole miserable fucking sock, gym sock, shit filled gym sock life. Okay. That's Anything else? You, Justin, my phone's about to die. Padini, I can strikes it's again. It is. I'm yeah, and you, you have no it's way of plugging it in, right? There's I'm no the way you can plug it, plug room. it in. Yeah, but it's Braxton, what do you have to say to Justin? What? What's that? What's up? What do you have to say to Justin? Yeah, you guys got something to say to me while I'm here? I mean, you're a time waster, man, honestly. Why do you say that? <laughs> How many times have we got new exchanges on, like, Facebook comments? And, like, I have repeated things left and right over and over and over. And over. Well, okay, but what makes me think that you're right, though? That's the thing. You're just assuming you're that you're right. Right. Everybody's right, Justin. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. So let me ask you something. Okay. So, okay. If all this evidence has come out that plants experience the same things that animals and humans do just in their own way, why is it moral to kill something that doesn't want to talk? Why is it moral to kill the animals or plants and humans? I'm sorry? Why is it moral to eat the animals that kill more plants than humans? I don't think that it is moral. I, I just admit that I don't know what to do about it. Okay. Justin, can you lower the background dribble? You do, I'll fucking well, and also, I think Mark mentions in this video, plants are from the earth. Okay, they are not a part. They are not sentient. Sentient creatures are of the earth, on the earth, not okay. up from the earth. 
plants are from the earth. You know that if, if you were a cult guy, you'd know this, Justin. The planet pristine, Jeff. Isn't that what you're complaining about all the time? The planet being destroyed. So in that case, wouldn't the plants be more important what being the there? What are you talking about? I'm, you clear you guys, you're talking about I'll fucking find your boy. I'll fucking spin circles on any vegan on this planet. Please, vegan, I'll take so Justin, place. how did if if plants are sentient, how are they sentient? If sentience is is of creatures of the earth, not from the earth, like out of the ground. What, define sentient. What does sentient mean? You, Justin, are no. you fucking kidding what? me? What You've been it? using this word what? for what? years, and you're going to ask me what it means. What does it mean? Define it. Define you're just it. wasting time because you have no, nothing to say. This is what you do. You make jokes. Everybody's being serious with you, and you just got to make jokes. And well, Where's and, the joke? And Who's joking? I have everything. the definition of sentiences, and now you're claiming that I'm telling jokes. Where's the joke? At least show me the joke. Yo, well, Janet, come on, come on, Janet. Know, come, whole, here. Whole, come on, vegan, Janet. Come vegan. on. Don't get it. Justin, I'll fucking cook you. Justin. You'll cook me at what? I have seven videos of me slaying you in every debate we've ever had. What are you talking yeah. about? Oh, yeah, post them, post them live. You just on get up here and yell for a, a while, and then your phone dies. Come on, Jana, anyway. Come on. You can't plug your phone come on, Jana. You know you want a piece of this. Come on. See, Jana loves me. I make it to always any chance I get. Um, but anyway, so do, can you define sentience or who's the guy below you? Who's the uh, the scarecrow looking guy? Uh, can you can you define sentience? What does sentience mean? Huh? What's it mean? Say that again. What does sentience mean? Be specific. <laughs> Jeff doesn't want to answer that question because he knows where I'm going to take it. You want to answer it, or am I just pushing you guys up against the wall because you know where we're going? This is why no one can debate me. I'm you. the best debater on this fucking thing. And if anyone thinks otherwise, bring it for any amount of money you want. You won't. No one will. Uh, no one will, because they know I'll fucking cook anyone on this planet. I can get intense too, guys. It's not just work, you know? So, do you want to define sentience? What? Well, plants aren't sentient. So well, first off, let's define sentience, and then we'll talk about that. That's why Jeff doesn't want to define sentience. Define Justin, sentience. I've had this conversation with you, you like, literally pushing you up like probably the seven or eight times over the years, and you just want to loop back to this, this pointless argument of what sentience. Huh? Everybody knows what it is. Just because you don't think it is that way doesn't well, mean that that's not the, what the general great, consensus well, being is. How dumb I am, wouldn't now be a great time for you to educate me on the definition of sentience? Yeah. So yeah. vegans don't don't have do vegans that. don't have anything to do with bugs, bro. I don't know if you've ever noticed this. We aren't talking about bugs. So when you talk bugs. about bugs, bugs. they're of lower bugs. sentience than I'm what most vegans care about. Uh, can you define this whole vegan dishonesty thing that you you and Larkin Rose straw man every chance you get? Okay. Vegans aren't saying anything about not creating any uh, creating yeah, any harm. Sentience either. What what is sentience? Define it. Do I have to do the same shit to that? What are you talking about? What does it mean? Define sentience. Something that has a central nervous system that can feel things and has emotions and can can like you know like oh, have well, feelings like and, and, and like life and can and want to continue to have life and want to continue to have children and stuff that? like that. Who decided that? Huh? Who, who decided that? Not Justin Bedini. The deciding factor. For Not Justin Bedini. Vegans did when they set the bar for what they what they care about. Vegans did when they set the bar for what they care about. Oh, so oh, so you just arbitrarily made that up then? You just admitted it live. No, you've so you're been straw manning the definition of veganism <laughs> since the dawn of time. You and Larkin Rose keep straw manning us that we're oh because we kill bugs we're not vegan. That's not something that vegans claim. We don't care about lower sentience. That's always been how it's been, dude. Time. We understand that when we drive our car, we're gonna hit there the bugs. A level of sense in bulk. Plants are. That's the crux of your whole argument. What are you talking about? And I'm sentience. What? It comes from animals and humans and things that grow. What? That, that are conceived on the earth, conceived on the earth, Mr. Occult Guy, Mr. Occult Guy that knows everything about the occult. Sentience is for creatures of the earth, not grown out of the earth. It's very simple. Okay, so what's your point? That means that your whole plant sentience argument is in the trash, you dill hole. 
Oh, no, is it now? Okay. So has it always oh, has on. been. Plants are and you just don't care earth. because you'll just keep plants repeating it over earth. and over and over again. You'll if keep repeating it. Keep repeating earth. it. No, even though it's been debunked to your face a thousand times by people you know way many, smarter than me. You know how many you your shit because you, you know, don't know anything. And you're exactly the guy Mark is talking about in this video right now. They grow out of each other's way so they can all experience life. Just because they do things in a different way doesn't mean it's less valuable. That's what eugenicists say. Hey, those things are less like us. We can so kill the them. animals. That's tell you to kill the animals and eat them. So th because because I animals, I don't know what to do. You think animals have se sentience? Therefore, you can go kill animals. That's that's your argument. I don't, I just, admit well, I, just I, don't I actually don't, don't care. care. I don't care. See, I know exactly what you're going to say because you've said it to me a thousand times. I yeah. actually don't care about the whole veganism thing. I, I just, I eat whatever I want. I've heard you say it a thousand being, times. I was being fucking retarded. Yeah. And you are exactly who Justin, uh, who Mark Passio is talking about. These okay, fucking, you, you're unlearnable. You're not willing yeah, to I'm learn anything new. Yeah, you're not willing to change anything that you already know. And you uh -huh. coddle these fake friends of yours that you pay to hang out with, and you shit uh -huh. on your real friends. Uh -huh. oh, and yeah. real, who am I real friends? I've, I've had so many. Da, Justin, do you understand how many people have come to me over the years? Uh, with all the stuff we've done together, how many people have come to me and talked to me about, about you? Uh-huh. How many? How many? Like people, like friends of yours, like that have hung out with you for like a long time. Lots. Like who? Name one. Name one. Name one? No. Why not? Call me out. I don't care. I don't have much problem. I don't have to cite everything. everything. I don't remember these people that I talked to two fucking well, there's years. So many of the, there's so many, but there's so many of you of my friends coming. Can't think of one what, what are you, why are you worried about what I'm talking about? Why are you focusing well, on you, that? You brought it up. Oh, you're the one saying, oh, you friends coming to me about you. Person, we know you. Yeah, we I'm know you better than fucking Larkin Rose knows you. And better than Mark Passio, who you call your best friends. I they aren't I'm, your best friends. Was. They're just people you give money to. That's always been how it is, Justin. Yeah, your you're, real you're, friends I'm you always, shit on all day long. Me. You shit on them. I'm all totally day long. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Totally you know? Yeah. True. It's true, yeah. You know? Shit on your real friends over and over and way. over again for your fake friends. Get that out of the way. You want to continue talking about sentience and how... So, like, if... Okay, so you're saying because it's part of the planet. Isn't the planet what we're trying to defend and keep alive? You know? So, in that case, wouldn't the planet be more important than the things running around? All right. <laughs> this is getting boring. Bye, Justin. And <laughs> got him. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, man. How do I... <laughs> How many times have we yeah, like actually defined sentience? No, he doesn't even know the argument. It's just something he can say that sounds like something, and he can run away and say his phone's dying and all the things he always does. Yeah, he likes to perform for a crowd, yeah, like essentially. For a crowd, essentially. Yeah. Yikes. But yeah, I wanted to have him see the part where Mark destroys the plant sentience fucking argument it was so good because it was just like oh that's argue that's literally this is whole thing is about justin bedini it's wild or justin i mean at least like you know <laughs> he's the closest person within our proximity about who who this is about who we deal with on all often on basis